confidence. Confidence is a really hard one. For the longest time I didn't record anything because my confidence was so bad. One of the things I keep in mind is if you don't try you never know and at the end of the day what could possibly go wrong? Like what is the worst thing that could happen to you and is it going to ruin your life? Those are the things that I like to say to myself because even if something went wrong, even if, I don't know, like today my lace front doesn't look the best, am I going to let that stop me from sitting here and recording when you guys have sent in your questions and spent time, you know, supporting me and no, like, what's the worst thing that could happen? Some, some nasty person is going to leave a comment saying, clocked your fucking lace front, bitch. Don't care. It's going to ruin my life. No. So, when you're nervous about something, just, just think. Is this the end of my life? Can I go on if the worst thing happens to me? Am I going to die? Answer is probably no. I'll probably be fine. Just have fun with it. Have fun. That is the most important thing. Don't overthink it. Have so much fun with it. And don't worry if something goes wrong. I think it would be... It would either be black and white or black and pink. But black and white... No one ever looks bad in black and white. Black and white is great. It is honestly one of the nicest feelings ever. I... I never know what to say because I'm not good with words when people give things to me or are really nice to me. When I get a drawing from someone, like, someone's put a lot of effort into that. They've sat there for God knows how long and drawn a picture of my face. Just my face. That's so weird and humbling at the same time. It's honestly just, it's, it is so humbling. It's, it's a really, really, really lovely thing to receive. Every picture or drawing that someone has handed to me that has drawn for me, I have kept. I keep them in a little folder and I'm waiting till I move house so then I can stick them all on my walls or get like a, a cork board or something because it's just, thinking about the amount of effort that goes into those is just really nice. Gender stuff's actually going very well. I'll probably do another video on this um, separately to this but I am a lot more comfortable in my gender now. Being on testosterone and hopefully soon having chest surgery, it has done wonders for me. So yeah, it's going, it's going really well, thank you. Favorite OTPs? Lelouchen C2 from Code Geass are always an OTP. Kameda and Hinata from Super Danganronpa 2. Mephisto and Shiro from Our No Exorcist because I'm a sinner. Akira and Ryuji or Yusuke, or just all three of them. Happy little poly family there. Quite a few, but my memory's gone blank, so have, have those ones. But I am a meme. I mean, my favorite meme is shooting stars, so hopefully one day I could become that. My life motto? I never have one. I always like to live by the whole, if you never ask, the answer will always be no. If you're scared of asking for something, unless you do it, like, it just won't, it won't happen. There's this, like, music I've been listening to recently on YouTube, it's like this chill, chill mix. And there's this guy that speaks in it, and he says something about the space between notes in music is what makes the melody. So, the spaces between this year's leaves and next year's leaves, and the generation of people now, and the last generation of people, those sort of gaps. That's really, really inspired me, especially when I need to take breaks from work, or I feel like, oh, I'm not doing anything, where am I going in life? Like, I feel like it gives reason to those gaps between things that I do. Just listening to that has made me feel so much more sure in myself, even when I need to take a break, or even when there's nothing going on. It's not really a motto, but it's helped me, so hopefully it can help some of you guys. Blending is essential, like blending eyeshadow, blending contour, blending contour, blending is really important. Powder, because you can look really sweaty, because I know I get really sweaty, so powder. Lock it in, you can get, like, Urban Decay does really good, like, fixing spray. Practice your eyeliner. I needed to do that for years. Eyeliner is so hard to get right, so just practice. Everything mainly is just practice, like, even coats 
uh, blending, fixing. If you have a good filter or a little cheeky bit of Photoshop, it's always a bit, always helps a little bit. As said earlier with my name, my favorite tarot card is the Magician. Uh, I feel like it kind of represents me quite a lot because the Magician, he likes to think that he's good at a lot of things. He's jack of all trades and I'm kind of trying to do that. Like I'd, I would like to be good at makeup, wigs, sewing, prop work, like I'm not there yet, but that's kind of my aspiration. Like I want to be a jack of all trades. I want to be able to do a lot of things well. Practice, 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 but that is the kind of card that I want to be summed up as at some point in the future. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of getting there slowly. <laughs> Top three songs, that's really hard. Half God, Half Devil by In This Moment. They're one of my favorite bands. That's probably my favorite song right now. I can't really think of anything else. That whole album, to be honest, like, just put that whole album on. It's called Ritual and it's my favorite. Online, there's Disturbia, Dolls Kill, eBay, Cutesy Kink is pretty good, Pastel Dreams, Killstar. My first cosplay was Axel from Kingdom Hearts. I've redone it a couple of times. It was so bad. Uh, <laughs> it was so bad. I think I would redo it at some point, especially when Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah, when, when, when I die. Probably. Yeah, when Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out, I'll try and whack him back out, bring back the Kingdom Hearts feel. Thank you very much. Um, it's been a, like, a very, very long time. I think I first started to be a little iffy with my gender around 15. It was only when I was 18 that I decided to do something about it, and I'm now 22, so that kind of puts spectrum on how long it's taken me to be comfortable with myself and how I dress. I will probably, again, do another video on this whole thing, gender and everything. Basically, I just say, fuck the gender stereotypes, like you can wear whatever you want to wear, you can wear what you feel good in, because at the end of the day, you're not what everyone else wants you to be, or makes you out to be you are you and you should be able to express yourself and your gender and everything the way you want to even if you identify as masculine you can still wear a dress just do it work it like i identify as demi boy which is male as well as agender so kind of i identify wholly as non-binary but demi boy is more specific it helps me personally feel better in myself and what I wear because I don't feel any shackles, I don't feel any pressure to conform to any stereotypes within gender, so being non-binary is like, I can wear what I want. I've had a lot of comments and questions, like on my Tumblr and stuff, about where they've gone. Um, they went a long time ago, me and my friend who was my partner at the time. When we broke up, we went through a really bad phase, so we just kind of got rid of it. And then since then we haven't really brought it back because that was a big chapter of our lives that we did together and we did it for fun, you know. And I kind of want people to respect that we have kind of just buried that. I'm really glad that you guys enjoyed them. They were really fun, but I think I'm just gonna carry on with my videos now and hopefully do some more sing-along stuff and hopefully you'll enjoy the stuff that I do now. I'll try and do more, basically. I've been really terrible, I'm really sorry. I don't, because since starting testosterone, I have grown a lot. Like, I've filled out. So, when I cosplayed Death of Kid, I was six. Yeah, I was a size six. And now, um, I'm about size 10 to 12, so that's just not, it's not gonna happen. Someday I might re-cosplay him. We'll see how it goes. I've got loads of other stuff to do, I think. Got a big one coming up next, which is gonna take a lot of time, so. He's kind of in the, maybe later at some point in my life, box thing. <laughs>